Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Mike Steve. Today, we are looking at Reddit. For the first time, I'm doing a Reddit kind of series. Like, like, little example, kind of, yeah, my English brain good, you know, yes. Because midnight. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, we are looking at r slash entitled parents. And I've been seeing videos on this, and I'm like, hey, why not? Maybe this could be weird and funny, and yeah. Let, let's. Let, let's try. The, the first one it seems very interesting. Ah, oh boy. Uh, also, I mean, we're wondering what that was that with my OBS. Ah, oh boy. My friend's tits are offensive to EM. So, basic information. Me and my best friends were in a beach just chilling. One thing I need to inform is that my best friend is on the big breasted side of the spectrum, so like any big breasted woman, bikinis are a nightmare to her. She's she always is staring at and that makes she really uncomfortable. Now to the story. Me and her were in a more secluded part of the beach. We had swam and we decided to sit a bit. When we come back to our chair, the family is settled down near us. Mom was in her late thirties and dad was in his early fifties. They had a child with them, a nine-ish year, years old boy. We didn't pay mind to them, we just sit on our chairs and talk for a bit. I noticed the dad of the family was looking at my friend but paid no mind. I decide to pick something to drink. There is a bar nearby. I asked my friend if she wanted something. She asked me for a lemonade. I go to the bar and see the EM coming near me. I wait in the line until EM comes to talk to me. EM and tell him I'm me a unicorn, apparently. EM, hi, I saw that you and your friend are nearby me and my family. I just nod to her. I think your friend is really beautiful, but she is showing too much cleavage. I looked at her, trying to think what to respond to this. Me, well, she can't be faulted for being born with big breasts, can she? She looked at me like she was expecting me to agree with her. EM. Well, she could not use a bikini that small, she said with a somewhat annoyed voice. Me. She can do whatever she wants, lady. She becomes Reddit. She becomes Reddit that. I don't think that this woman has ever heard someone disagree with her before. Damn. She is looking like a slut. My child will be traumatized. I look back to my friend saying, I have a clear view of her and Ian's family. The child is doing sandcastles, a cute view, I might add. And her husband is staring hard at my friend who was passing sunscreen at the time. So the problem was not her child, it was her husband. Me. Well, I can't do much, lady. Now please leave me alone. Finally, it was my turn, so I picked my drinks and ignored the Ian. She wasn't happy about it, though. Ian, don't you dare, don't you dare ignore me, young man. I'm not finished. I just looked at her and took a sip of my drink before saying, Lady, your kid isn't even looking at my friend. Your husband, in the, uh, in the other hand, I point at her husband, who was staring at my friend with hungry eyes. She looked shocked and just started walking to her husband. I got my friend, gave her drink and sip of cider, watching the wife furious whispers to her husband. Not long after my friend and I decided to leave. I didn't tell my friend about the crazy lady. She has confidence issues enough. At least I didn't see this family ever again. Oh my god. Lady. What the... I... I'm just not going to say anything because I'm... Yeah. Mm, and then we have this. You're my child. I have the right to poison you. Uh, I'm allergic to fish slash seafood. I'm not the anaphylactic type of allergy, thank goodness. So I'm not going to die if I eat some, but I do throw up, I have a stomach ache, and I have a headache for a few hours. Enough fish or seafood, and I break out in small red hives over my arms. My mother didn't believe it, at, and as a child, I couldn't stand up to it properly. She forced me to eat stuff with seafood or fish in it to prove I wasn't allergic. Then ignore me as I was sick. One day, she held a dinner party. I was dressed up beautifully and tried out to parade before the guests. At the time, I was around nine, 
precautious for my age and absolutely fed up with my mother making me sick. When she held out a fish cutlet, fish cooked with vegetables rolled into a ball covered in batter and fried, for me to eat, I saw my chance. Me, love. I can't eat that, I'm allergic to fish, mother. No, you're not, eat it. Me, I am allergic, I'll throw up. No Asian mother ruled back down in front of guests for fear of looking like she can't discipline her child. Her mother grabbed the fish cutlet, shoved it to my mouth, and said in her most firm voice of command, Eat! <laughs> oh boy. So I ate it. After about 10 minutes later, I go up to my mother and took on her. Sorry, Sari. Sorry, I, I don't know. Sorry. To um, pronounce this, to get attention. I mean, I don't feel well barf. I vomited on her on the expensive carpet and in full view of all the guests. My mother has a reputation for being a kind, generous, charitable, and very religious woman, so in front of all the guests, she couldn't do anything except act sympathetic and send me off to bed to recover. She never made me eat fish or seafood again. Well, um, that also. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are some very uplifting stories, am I right, peoples? Edie tries to run over me and my dog over as revenge after he got arrested for assaulting me. I'm not going to say anything yet because I haven't read the story, but oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> I had another encounter with this ED before where he assaulted me after he threatened to kill two people, including my elderly disabled neighbor. All because it fucking mildly inconvenienced him for a two for a minute or two. God my English. And even that's arguable. He seemed to believe that having some was a get out of jail free card. If you want the previous story you can see it there, but first update the general situation. I heard that E D had to get treated in the hospital for a collapsed lung and two broken ribs from my elbow strain. His wife is also fired for divorce and he got fired from a six figure job. I don't know where Edie works, but I'm glad he doesn't work there anymore. It's only a matter of time before he actually manages to kill someone. In addition, definitely going to jail once the trial starts. No, wait, that was broken. In addition, my parents have a security camera installed and they caught most of our fight and part of his car on film. So he's definitely going to jail once the trial starts in a few months. If you ask me that's too long of a way, I'll ask the detective about possibly showing the footage on Reddit. Anyways, I was walking my dog, picture, if I'm not going to show it just in case, blah blah blah, blah whatever, through YouTube bullshit, yeah. On the left side of the room, he was on my left, sniffing the grass as we casually make our way down the street. I see Edie's car pull around the corner ahead and I'm immediately on edge. He's going to try to attack us again now that my ankle had fully healed. A fight with the self-described cripple would be entirely one-sided in my favor. Instead of acting like a normal driver, he lines up his car with us and I hear the engine roar loudly. As he just corners it. I grab Ralphie and roll out of the way. I just barely had time to do all that. If my ankle hadn't healed, between my two encounters with this entire psychopath, Luffy, my lovable and cuddly goofball would be dead. Blood got smeared all over the ground. Oh, I just hurt myself. I'm just gonna skip all that part. Blah blah blah, smeared blood, just because an ED wanted to get revenge on me for getting him arrested after he assaulted me. I turn around and I see ED had stopped to flip me off. Oh, that's lovely person. I scream as loudly as possible, as I possibly can. What is your problem? Edie just drove to his house like nothing had happened. <laughs> Probably got a kick out of scaring me like this. I immediately called the police, still holding an obviously anxious and dizzy dog in my arms. Tell him that someone tried to kill me and my dog with his car. About 30 seconds later, a lady walked past us at the closest intersection and I asked her if she heard anything about what just happened. Much the tires squeaked. Great, my English is 
horrible pupils, I swear. With voices, she tells me that she did hear tires screeching and something yelling something, but she couldn't figure out what, what it was. I explained the situation to her, and she was shocked but willing to be a witness for me. If you read this, you're the MVP. The police show up about 10 minutes later, and we both explain the situation. ADA had left tire tracks and dirt where I was walking the skid marks and straight off to the head off to Eden's house to rest him. This time, with facing attempted murder charges, among others. Again, we just want to read, blah, 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 edit two. Thank you for all the love and support. My hope is that we can send someone to convince his wife to let him stay in jail so that protective services won't be necessary. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry for your loss. It's almost life. No, I'm joking. I'm not that horrible. Sorry. Don't kill me. You know, like, there is four or five of you know where I can live. Fuck you. Hey, anyways, guys, this was Mike's Gaming. If you did enjoy r slash and tile parents episode one, then hit that like button. Subscribe if you lost more faith in humanity. Hit that notification bell so you can lose even more faith in humanity on time next time. Anyways, guys, Mike's Gaming. Say peace. Have a great day. Yeah.